Good day to you and how you be everybody? Let me tell you man, I had a great time this weekend. Hope you guys as well, but this is my brother. We can see my mom that she's doing well. She's at peace since she moved out of the city. It's been great for her, man. And I was so happy about that. So I spent a great time. I meditated, I relaxed. Oh, I relaxed. When you get out of the city and you go to the suburbs, like country, Oh, what a difference, man. What a difference. You're able to focus more, I noticed. Talking about meditation, yeah. This weekend, out of the city, going into a nice place, just listening to the birds. You know, I noticed that past six months, things have changed. I'm doing actually better. And I'm not talking about the business sense. The business side, things are picking up. But... What I noticed was I'm changing, I'm changing. I have focused on me for the past six months when I had a person um, I was speaking to, I told him, you know, how's business? And he was telling me about his business doing good, but there was one thing he said that just stood on my mind was the key to success. The key to success is yourself. You have to focus on yourself. You have to take care of all your old issues you know, and reprogram yourself. All, all the business, everything will come and follow because you are an energy source. So that stood in my head and I started going through that, started following that, started um, disciplining myself, changing my old habits. And let me tell you, it's doing wonders because I got to notice that this weekend when I was just by myself thinking about it. And it's a good thing, man, because we have old issues. I was going through depression and I was able to really beat that about two years ago and I gotten better and better and away from it, which the past six months don't feel that. I wake up in the morning, I'm like excited. I'm, I'm anticipating the day and I catch myself right now doing that. That's awesome, man. So the key to success is focus on yourself, clean yourself. You know, I've been about a year and a half without drinking alcohol, and that has changed my life totally. I was drinking every day, you know, a little here, a little there, but I was able to beat that, and that's crazy. And then from there on, things get better. So when you see someone with a big, his business is thriving, he has a Mercedes, he travels, you don't, don't think that that person is successful. He might not be successful. He, he looks successful because of the materialistic things he has, but that person could be on depression. He could be sad. And that's not how you measure success. The way you measure success is how you feel about yourself. And if you love yourself and you feel great about yourself, yeah, then you could say, I am successful. So anyway, let's talk about what are we printing today? Let's talk about the two jobs I have today. They are for school. And if you could get your hands on a school, they the best, man. They usually will order constantly all year round. They got a lot of events and schools, um, leagues, like baseball leagues, softball leagues, and nonprofits. Those are my main, main um, clients that I really go after. But when it comes to schools, I'm telling you, they constantly order. So get your hands on schools. Now, there's two jobs. One of them is of one color print in the front, one color print in the back. The other one is on hoodies, which is four colors all on the front. But first, I already exposed the screen for the one color in the front, one color in the back. I put both images on one screen. Let me bring it out here to the press and let's register and let's get printing. There goes the final shirt. Look at that nice white, soft. 
I'm telling you, that lava, when it comes to that white plastic soil, the opacity, the smoothness, I haven't found a name that beats that. So now let's go print the back and then we'll come back and get started with that four color one. Let's do this. These hoodies are gonna print four colors on them. So it's gonna be a white, orange, blue, and yellow. When it comes to the white, I'm gonna use a 110 mesh just because the hoodies are kind of thick and they intend to swallow out of the, a lot of the ink and I need that white to really pop. The other one I'm using a 160 for the yellow because I have half tone. And the other two colors, same thing. I'm gonna do a 160 for the reason that I don't wanna pile up a lot of ink on top of each other, make it look like rough. I wanna to try to make it as smooth as possible. And if I have to take it to the heat press at the end and smooth them out even more, I will do that. But now, let me print these films. Let me take it to expose, then register the screens and start printing. I'm gonna be using royal blue, white, golden yellow, and orange. They are all lava, especially for the white, which is a very smooth ink. So right now, let's take these ink and put them on the screen. There it is, real nice. I just had to flash the white uh, for the underbase and then the white again, just two flashes. And then from there, wet on wet on wet. Just keep it all blue, orange, and yellow, wet. Came out real nice, nice and smooth. I love doing these jobs for these schools, man. This was a student that won the best art. And for that student to see his art on shirt, Wow, it's gotta be, he gotta be like amazing with that scene, that's all. That's why I love working with schools, man. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. May God bless you all. Be grateful and peace out.